Welcome, I born. So this lesson is going to focus on the future perfect tense, will and the going to forms, right? So let us have a look at it. The future perfect tense is used to refer to actions or events which will be completed by a certain time in the future, right? So it is used for what? To refer to actions or events which will be completed by a certain time in the future. Let's have a look at an example. The developers will have cleared this tea estate to make way for the apartments by the year 2023. The clearing of the tea estate has not been done yet. Okay, so just put the brackets to close it, right? So what has happened or what will rather happen is that there are some developers and they've taken over a tea estate and they need to clear it to come up with the apartments. So the action will be completed when? In a specific time in the future. So the developers will have cle cleared, right? This tea estate to make the apartments by the year 2023. The clearing has not been done yet, but it will be cleared and completed by 2023. So if you have a look at the structure, will plus have plus the past participle of the verb, right? So let's have a look at the next one. The future perfect tense is used with words like already and just to refer to an action or actions or event or events, right? Which will be finished by an approximate time in the future, right? So by July, approximately roughly around July, Jenny will have already completed her computer course. So you will see will plus have plus the frequency adverb already plus the past participle of the main verb, right? So will have already completed, will have already finished, will have already eaten, okay? All right, moving on. Find out why B is correct and why is A wrong. By the middle of next month, my sisters have come back home from abroad. By the middle of next month, my sisters will have come back home from abroad. So this is going to be completed at a specific time in the future or at a certain time in the future, right? Um, so you have to use the future perfect form. And what is the form? Will plus have plus the past participle. If there's a frequency adverb, will plus have plus the frequency adverb plus the past participle of the verb. So can you say have come back? No will have come back. So B is correct. A is wrong. Second one, our country will already gain our independence by September next year. Our country will have already gained our independence by September next year. So approximately by September next year, right, what will happen? we will have gained our independence. So if there is a frequency adverb, will plus have plus the frequency adverb plus the past participle of the main verb. But here you have gain and you don't have the have, so it is incorrect, okay? Right, so let us have a look at the next activity. Take the correct sentences. Now, some of the sentences here could be incorrect, but what do you have to do? 
check the ones which are correct. Now, when you're doing these, what you need to remember is that you just can't think about, you know, the future perfect tense only and do this. You have to remember the other tenses also. Now, I know it can be sometimes very tedious for you and tiring for you to remember all of these tenses, but it is important, right? So if you can't remember or if I tell you, oh, this is right and you can't remember why it is right and it is in the present continuous tense, then please go back and refer that tense. Don't just say, ah, okay, you know, she's given us the answer, so this is correct. You always have to be in that learning process. Why is this right? Why is this wrong? Okay, so sometimes I see students asking questions in the comment box, which is really good. And that is what you should be doing. Okay, so please feel free to ask questions in the comment section because you don't meet me um, lively, right? Um, but make sure that you always, always, always check why your answer is correct. And if it is wrong, then go back and see, okay, why is my answer wrong? Okay. This coming Sunday, I am going visiting. Praddy and his sister will have arrived in Venice for their vacation by the middle of next year. My package will have arrived, Carl, by Wednesday. By the planting season, the farmers will build these irrigation canals. Wilson will hear from him the moment he lands in New York. By the end of next year, she will have already left to Tokyo. Garrett has finished his final assessments. He will be joining his sister in Brazil in four months' time. Okay. Has finished. He will be joining. The plumbers are still repairing the pipelines. They will have completed the job by next Thursday. I haven't managed to speak to Christina yet. By this afternoon, I will have given her your books. People will have to cut back on their expenses or they will be spent all their money by the end of the month, right? Now, I hope while I'm reading the sentences, you've jot down which sentence numbers are correct. Let us go and have a look at the answers three, five, six, eight, nine. Okay, so let's have a look at it. They say three, five, six, eight, nine. Let's go and review the answers. This coming Sunday, I am going visiting the museum in the city center. This coming Sunday, I am going to visit the museum in the city center. Okay. So next one, Braddy and his sister will have arrived. Mm, you think will have arrived? Will have arrived. In Venice for their vacation by the middle of next year. My package will have arrived perfectly fine. Will have arrived by Wednesday, specific time in the future, completed, future perfect tense, fine. By the planting season, the farmers will build, the farmers will have built. Specific time in the future, will have built. Wilson will hear from, sorry, Wilson will hear from him the moment he lands in New York. Seems fine. Okay. That is the future tense. Oops. Right. By the end of next year, she will have already left to Tokyo. Yes. Okay. Um, approximate time. Perfectly fine. 
Garrett has finished his final assessments. He will be joining his sister in Brazil in four months time. Okay, so think about it. Can you say um, he will be joining his sister? Can you use the future continuous tense? You can't think why you can't. Go back and refer the tenses if you can't remember. The plumber is still repairing it fine. They will have completed the job by next Thursday. Fine. Future perfect at a specific time in the future. By this afternoon, I will have given her your books again at a specific time in the future. So people will have to cut back on their expenses or they will they will have spent. All their money by the end of the month. So that is incorrect again. Okay. All right. So here are the answers and I hope you understand why these are the only correct answers. 3, 5, 6, 8 and 9. All right. Cross out incorrect verb forms to complete the sentences right now don't cross out the correct one cross out the incorrect one so if you feel uncomfortable write the correct one in your notebooks right the poems she wrote have made or will have made an impact on hundreds of teenagers these past few months Mrs. Lin had retired, will have retired as the head of the English department of the university by the end of this month. Dad had just done, will have just done clothes shopping when my sister came home from the office. They won't visit today. Your family has already gone. Your family will have already gone to sleep by now. Right, so let's have a look at question number five. The girls hadn't realized or won't have realized how worn out they were until they finally got to the apartment and collapsed. The authorities have succeeded, will have succeeded in solving the crime and arresting the criminal by the end of the month. The cyclone has damaged, will have damaged many houses in the area. We hadn't believed, we won't have believed the story about the affair until we read the whole incident in the newspaper. The last two, by early winter, the leaves on the trees have fallen or will have fallen and snow gradually begun to fall. A surprising fact about salmon is that they will have swum or will swim upstream against the current to return to the same place yearly to lay their eggs, right? So I hope you have crossed out the incorrect verb, okay? Or written the incorrect verb in your books, okay? Uh, so that we could have a look at the answers. Now, let's have a quick look at the answers. Will have made, had retired, will have just done, has already gone, won't have realized, have succeeded, will have damaged, won't have believed, have fallen, will have swum. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. The poems she wrote have made or will have made. Now, when you're talking about will have made, what is the rule? It has to be at a specific time in the future. But this past few months, so will have made is incorrect, right? So you have to 
cross it out. Because she has done this in the past few months, the poems she wrote have made. That is the correct one. Okay. So will have made should be the incorrect one. We've got that done. The second one. Mrs. Lin, right? By the end of this month, now it hasn't happened yet, but it is supposed to happen at a specific time in the future and it will be completed. So can you say had retired something in the past? No, right? So you have to say will have retired future perfect tense, right? So that is the correct one. So what is the incorrect one had retired? So I'm crossing it out. What do you have to do? Cross out the incorrect verb, right? So had retired is the incorrect one, right? Let's have a look at the next one. Dad had just done, will have just done clothes shopping when my sister came home from the office. So when my sister came home means now it is in the past. Can you say, uh, my dad will have just done? Can you talk about something in the future? No. So, my dad had just done is correct. So, what is incorrect? Will have just done. Okay. That is incorrect. So, will have just done is incorrect. Okay. The next one. They won't visit today. Your family has already gone, will have already gone to sleep by now. Okay. So by now means, can you say will have already gone? No. Right. By now means recent past. So your family has already gone. So what is the incorrect one? Will have already gone. They won't visit today. Your family has already gone or will have already gone to sleep by now. Now, what you need to remember is by now means it's recent past. So, can you use the future perfect tense? No. So, what is the correct answer? Has already gone. So, what is the incorrect one? Will have already gone. Okay. Oh, so there's a little error there. Let's just jot down the right answer, okay? Will have, that should be the incorrect one. Will have already gone. Okay, so that's, a, that's not the answer. Will have already gone should be the answer there, okay? All right, coming back to question number five. The girls hadn't realized, won't have realized how worn out they were until they finally got to the apartment and collapsed. Okay, so again, in the past, okay, so it's not going to be in the future. So won't have realized is wrong. Okay, ah, that's correct. We've got that there. Okay, next one, number six. The authorities have succeeded, will have succeeded by the end of the month. So that, of course, we know is a certain time in the future and the action would be completed by a specific time in the future. So will have succeeded is the right answer. Have succeeded is the wrong answer. Yeah, we have that as well correctly, okay? So let's have a look at question number seven. The cyclone has damaged, will have damaged many houses in the area, okay? So it's something that has happened recently and finished recent past. So has damaged is the correct one. Will have damaged many houses in the area is the incorrect one. Okay, so off we go there. Next one, question number eight. We hadn't believed or won't have believed the story about the affair until we read. 
So we've already read the story. We've already had a look at it. So we hadn't believed. That is the correct one. So won't have believed is incorrect. And there we go. That is also correct. Okay. So by the early winter or by early winter is a specific time in the future. So will have fallen is the correct answer. Have fallen is incorrect. So our answer is correct. Next one, tenth one. A surprising fact about the salmon is that they will have swum, will swim upstream. So you don't say will have swum because it's not something in the future. They do it every early. Okay, so they will swim. So will have swum, okay, is the incorrect one. Will have swum is incorrect. Okay, so I think this one's the one, the little fishy one that I made a mistake on in the answer key, right? But this is the correct one here. So please jot down this as the answer. All right. So let us have a look at the next activity. Fill in the blanks with the correct verbs in the box. So here you have some verbs, right? Has already left, have been cleaning, have seen, lost, will have closed, will have established, will have fitted, will have returned, will have sold, will rain. The first one. The workers blank the hall cabinets by this Sunday so we can rearrange my collection of toys, toy cars. In recent years, Parts of India blank an increase in per capita income due to a renewed interest in some industries. Larry blank most of his life savings in the economic crash because he has invested heavily in the market. Okay, so think about which ones should come in, right? Now, if you look at the first one, what do you think is the answers? The workers will have fitted, okay, the hall cabinets. Now you have to think about what could be the other answers. In recent years, parts of India have seen, okay, have seen an increase in the per capita income due to the renewed industry, renewed um, interest rates. So I think have seen is the correct answer. Okay. Next one. Larry, most of his life savings. Wow. So an economic crash happened. And what happened? Mm -mm, not something good for Larry. He lost most of his savings okay and I think that should be the answer yes okay next one the young designer a good name for a good name what happens will have established will have established Okay, a name for herself by the time her next fashion collection is shown. By 5 p.m. tomorrow. So you can, sorry, before we go ahead, you can take the ones we have finished. Okay, lost, have seen, will have established. Okay, so let's have a look at question number five. By 5 tomorrow afternoon, when the auction is over, we blank most of the antique furniture. So when the auction is done, what happens? We will have sold. We will have sold. We better pack our picnic food and leave. Why are we leaving? Because it looks like it will rain soon. Right, let's have a look at the answers. 
will have established, will have sold, will reign. Seven. Paula is going to call mum in half an hour. She blank home from work by then. Right. So, oh, she will have returned. She will have returned. Alun will be free to go swimming in July, her university, for the vacation by that time. Her university will have closed. The students deserve a break now. They blank the college hall all afternoon. So they deserve it. Why? Because they have been cleaning. Let's have a look at the answers. Yes, we'll have returned, we'll have closed, have been cleaning. The last one. When I walked up to Benny's apartment, I found that for a friend's party. So I went there. What had happened? He had already left. So even if you didn't know, much about the tenses as I told you before, you should have been able to do this. Why? Because you should be able to understand the context of the sentence, right? All right. So moving on. Now these are the answers. So I hope you have completed it, right? Now let us have a look at the next one. Some of the sentences below contain incorrect verb forms. Underline them and write the correct verbs in the spaces provided or the space provided. Okay. Let's have a look at the sentences. The youngsters will rested sufficiently by this evening. We can take them sightseeing after that. So by this evening, what do you think? Future completed action. So what can you write? The shopkeeper has just announced a discount on all handbags in the store. This afternoon, the village men have come down to the well to fill barrels with fresh water. Right. Next one. When the help arrived, millions of houses had already been swept away, had already been swept away by the floods. So what do you think? Is it right or is it wrong? The sentence. The children will have exploded the caves by the end of their holiday, so they will have a wonderful story to tell. Okay. The little apple tree that my father planted when my sister was born will have grow to a height of five feet or more by now. Right. Question number seven. Dave will break all records if he manages to clear the nine meter hurdle in next week's international track meet. Okay, will break. They were driving around in circles for the last 30 minutes and they still have not found the old windmill marked on this map. Okay. Think about it. By the time we arrive at the party, tea will already be served. Okay. And the last one. John will be training the junior men's basketball team from next month onwards. 
So I don't want you to be in a rush. I want you to take your time and rewrite the sentences which are wrong by using the proper verbs. All right. So pause the video if you need more time. So let us have a look at the answers. Now I hope you have finished it. So we're going to have a look at the answers together, right? Right, so one, three, six, eight, nine. Okay, let's go one by one. The first one. The youngsters by this evening, so you know that is in the future. Okay. So it should be will rested is the wrong verb and that should be changed into will have rested. Second one has just announced that's perfectly fine. Oh, recent past that is the present perfect tense so that is correct. Okay, so looking at the answers, I think the first one will have rested. Now let's have a look at the third one. This afternoon, the village men will, sorry, this afternoon, the village men have come down to the well to fill the barrels with fresh water. So this afternoon, the village men will come down. Okay, so that have come down should be changed into will come down. Okay, so will come down. Have come down is what you need to change into will come down, right? Next one, let's have a look at it. When the help arrived, millions of houses had already been swept away. So that again is in the past and that was perfectly fine. The children will have exploded the caves by the end of their holiday. So future perfect tense, which is um, completed in the future at a specific time, that is fine as well. So I don't think anything is wrong there. The little apple tree that my father planted when my sister was born will have grown. So it will have grown. Should be changed into will have grown. Okay. So we'll have grown fine, right? Let's have a look at the next one. Dave will break all the records if he manages to clear. That's fine, okay? In next weeks, perfectly fine, future tense. They were driving around in circles for the last 30 minutes. So last 30 minutes, you can't say they were driving. So what can you say? They had been driving. Now, if you can't remember, go back and have a look at the tenses, please. So, had been driving. Okay. Next one. Number nine. Um, by the time we arrive to the party, tea will already be served. So by the time we arrive at the party, tea will have already been served, okay? So will have already been served is the correct answer. John will be training and I think that is also correct. 
uh, next month onwards, future tense, future continuous tense. That should be okay. All right. So, will have already been served is the correct answer. Coming back, rewrite the sentences correctly. Okay. So, here there could be some sentences which are not correct. You need to rewrite them properly. Southeast Asian countries have experienced an economic recovery by the end of next year if the global situation improves. Now, I'm not going to underline the verb. I want you to do it on your own. Before the end of the year, welfare officials have fined foster homes for the orphans. The leader will be announcing the names of the incoming team, that means the next upcoming team, of the next game at this afternoon's official tea party. Mr. Ming never experienced such unusual behavior before in his life. Now think about the subject verb agreement, the tense, which tense should it be in, right? And please jot down the answers. I want you, as I always tell, do it on your own, right? Don't wait till I do it and just copy it off. Please make sure you do it on your own and then you have a look at it. All right. So pause the video for a few minutes because I'm sure you need more time. Write it on your own and then let's have a look at the answers. So let us have a look at the answers, right? The first one, South East Asian countries. Now it's along end of next year, okay? So it has to be the future perfect tense. We'll have experienced an economic recovery by the end of next year If the global situation improves. Second one, before the end of the year, comma, welfare officials will have found will have found Foster homes for the orphans, right? Let's have a look at the third one. Our vacation you can write will be ending or you can write will end this week 
we will have returned to the business world by Tuesday. Number four, the leader will announce or you can say will be announcing the names of the incoming team of the next game at this afternoon's official tea party. The last one, Mr. Ming had never experienced such unusual behavior before in his life. Right? So, I think now you would have got all the answers, right? And here we've completed the sentences. So, coming to the top of our lesson or rather a quick recap. So, we've had a look at the future perfect tense and we had a look at it using along with will and going to forms. So that brings us to the end of the lesson all about future perfect tense.